find the second and third derivatives of y equals x cubed is what we are asked to do. Now, before we even start doing this, let's think about what second and third derivatives are. We know what first derivative is. First derivative is y prime or dy dx, which can be found by differentiating this function once. And let's try to do that. Since we have y equals x cubed, y prime or dy dx is going to be 3x squared. You're going to bring this 3 down, subtract 1 from the 3 for the exponent. And let's say that's the first, that's the first derivative. The reason this is first is because you're differentiating once, you're taking derivative once to get this y prime. But let's say someone asks you what the second derivative is, and the logical way to think about this is second derivative is going to be derivative of the first derivative. So in this case, y double prime, or second derivative of y, is actually going to be second derivative of y, with respect to x, is going to be derivative of y prime. It's going to be derivative with respect to x of what we have above, 3x squared also known as 6x. You bring this 2 down, 3 times 2 is 6, and 2 minus 1 is 1. So you have 6x. So that's going to be the second, second derivative, because you're differentiating the original function twice to get to y double prime. Now let's think about what third derivative, or y triple prime, is equal to. It's also written as the third derivative of y with respect to x. And obviously, now I hope you get the pattern, it's going to be derivative with respect to x of the second derivative, or 6x, which in this case is 6. That's going to be the third derivative. 